In this experiment, we're going to look at two dissimilar metals, just like we did before, and see what kind of values we get. So in this case, we have copper on the left and magnesium on the right. And we're going to add, again, magnesium nitrate to the magnesium and copper sulfate to the, to the copper. And we're going to have our salt bridge of potassium nitrate. And when we take the voltage here, you can see that we get a 1.4. So record copper at the red lead and 1.4. Let's look at another, magnesium and silver. So we've added our nitrate solutions of each and our salt bridge. And let's take the voltage. Black probe on the magnesium and red probe on the silver and the voltage is about 1.8. So record 1.8 red probe on the silver. Now let's look at magnesium and lead with our salt bridge of potassium nitrate. Black lead on the magnesium, red lead on the lead, and we have about 0.9 volts. If something else is going on besides the simple oxidation reduction of the two metals, that means something is happening to water. And if something is happening to water, we're either going to get hydronium ions or hydroxide ions. You can see in this shot that when we added universal indicator, we're getting the green to green-violet color indicative of hydroxide ions present. Same thing with the copper and the same color with silver. So you see in each of these reactions, magnesium is reacting with the water, not with the other metal.